Megan from Keeping Up with Miss Harris. And Robin from Creative in Kindergarten. And today we're going to show y'all how we design and print our own stickers for our planners. I personally have a File of Facts planner. And Robin, I have an Erin Condren Life Planner. So we have two different kind of planners, but the stickers work on both kinds. So we're going to kind of show you what we have found that we like and what works for us. I've purchased the Avery 15-265 labels off of Amazon. And, um, I've also used the same ones. Um, I've actually heard that it's really good to use the um, clear ones also so you don't have to cut so precise, but I also have the white ones. They're also available at Walmart if you can check out the label section. We have seen them there a few times before. We both like to use PowerPoint when we're designing our stickers simply because that's the program that we're most used to. Here I'm zooming in on the stickers that I've been working on and designing. And here's a picture of Robin's as well. We have two different styles and yet they're both going to meet the needs that we have for next week. When I'm designing my stickers, I go to my clip art and then I can simply just drag and drop onto a new screen and then from there resize as I need to to make it larger or smaller um, to fit in my planner. Now I'm going to switch it over and let Robin talk to you about her stickers. Okay, on um, my labels, I started off by getting my pictures off of Pinterest and my birthday is next week, so I just typed in birthday prints and I found these two and this is just another one that I already had saved. And I used um, the eyedropper when you're doing your colors to um, use the same colors as the prints. Now for the sizing, um, the Erin Condren planner, the, it is one and a half by two inches. So um, the smaller flags will go um, horizontally. The longer um, banners will go vertically. And the ones at the bottom are the same. They're just a little bit um, thinner. The to-do list will fit in the boxes also and as long with the prints. And that is how I came up with sizing. And I did have to print a few times and cut out and change things every now and then. Um, but for the most part, if you just go by the measurements of the box, it's pretty easy. And Word and Mac are different. Um, one of the things I really like about Robins is that when she designed it, she made sure that they're all straight across so that if she were to cut out using an X-Acto knife or scissors, it's a straight line. Um, with Max, I can drag until I see it lining up, but her computer has where she can actually use grids on, um, and on her PowerPoint, and then that helps her line up her boxes and frames as well. Okay, with my printer, I have an HP LaserJet printer, um, and it is color. I have to feed my paper with the white side or the page side that you want printed feeding up. Okay, then we're just going to go file, print, and then I like to do shrink oversized pages. That way if I messed up my margins while I was designing, it's still going to not cut off any images and have everything on my page within the right parameters of the margins. I'm also going to select current page because I had where I designed that one little snippet of clip art on that second page. So if you're wanting to print one page at a time, make sure that you click that option as well. Okay, the stickers that I plan for are for next week. And um, I plan on using the to-do list for every day and I usually put those through the middle. And um, I kind of just put the banners wherever I have important things going on during the week. And then where I have empty boxes, that's where I usually put the um, prints. My stickers are more focused on everyday things that I'm having to keep up with as far as washing clothes and Lord forbid fold clothes. We have laundry baskets like mountains high that need to be worked through next week after our camping trip last week. Um, and then also for meal planning, just some different pots and pans that you could use. 
um, just to remind you of things that you need to pick up at the grocery store. Now we have these stickers available for you to download for free. Um, you can find the link below the video. Okay, for this Plan With Me Sunday, um, we are actually going to have a giveaway and we're going to have two $50 Michaels gift cards and two planners that we're going to give away. So make sure that you check back on July the 5th this Sunday and check out all of the great planner ideas that we're going to have in our link up. Thanks so much for watching.